relegations. There's a lot to play for, and for KT and Genji, it's just for any relevance in C. Because that is the part that is up there. Already mentioned 40 There's minutes, the flash. Life. Oh, the Justice Punch nice. was perfect in life. Gets a well-deserved kill. more interested in trying to find a kill somewhere. Spot lane. Yeah, Zenit in trouble. Peanut turns up at exactly the right time. More vision themselves. League 2018 just went down. There's our score. Look at this gank onto Cube. Not a lot of options. The flash knockup is going to be there every time. And Smeb. Up die. But do very you leave quickly. this KT rolls to play a game that's a three-lane closeout? Your instinct is no. So that's the thing. So yeah. Yes, in the past. And yes, they have power, but. Down the bottom of the table, things are different. Drake is down to 3,000. Yep, soldiers are going to be in there as score. Does get himself over the wall. Smeb looking for the flank play as well as the dragon. Is extremely low. Peanut is able to get it, but there's the Emperor's Divide. That's a good taunt to come in on top of Zenit as he's trying to jump away. Double play. And then Zenit has to go into the Hello? stopwatch. Bottom lane is very dead. Hero's entrance comes down, but score goes into his stopwatch. And now it's BDD Smeb score against the world. And the world is going to win this time as Ruler. Free hitting, explosive charge gonna go off, and he's happy to rocket jump on top of the Jace. Own the red side jungle, they have two turrets up there. Fly is an Orianna, wave throwing, scores overextended. Yeah, you know this one, as uh, Smeb's trying to get him in there, but he actually flashes over the acceleration gate score, taking so much damage, he needs another one. The air isn't going to be enough, there's the flash, the last boulder comes in. Matchup, this wasn't a matchup he thought. He missed this top side of the play. Actually, no, this was yeah, just a kill. just a long time ago. Yeah, it was a time, it was a long time ago. I didn't see the... Certainly does feel like KT have a lot of control. And they've got the team fight advantage in our evaluation. If this was any other teams, is are they far enough ahead with this draft? It's, oh, oh, that play was bent down and well. picks him! In the three members that are there, Ruler goes into his stopwatch, but he can't move out of the way. The double knock-up is there with the face call and Snowflower just takes it onto himself to win this fight. Three men drop wave is in there. And now they're trying to turn it around as Cube is gigantic on the back line, but now Zenit is still hopping around the fight. Score comes in. GA in hand, and now BDD finally makes his way down. They're chasing Peanut out of here, and BDD doesn't even get hit by the boulder. They spot him. They know how this one works. The knockup is on to score, and now they've moved the wrong direction. Bit of yakety sacks here, Papa Smithy, but they should be able to just take to, down the job. Exactly, just trying to waste time. It doesn't work as well when it's the smite, because it means your Baron contest is still going to be weak. Wasting time, wasting time. Oriana will be able to teleport in. The carries here for KT. It's a really nice hat, it's a pretty cool Bloodthirster, and Score is now in trouble. Tries to flash away, does have a tunnel available as well as Ruler. He's going to turn up and just grab a free kill. That's what BDD is looking for. Yeah, and the Rek'Sai flash knockup not available as Score had to use it when he died on the top side of the map, so... KT, not a lot of engage, hard engage options. And Peanut, he says he's got heaps of them as Snowflower's just put in the cage. Does land the hook though as Zenit is starting to hop around this fight, but does cleanse out and the... Okay, the Rend is actually getting some value. Oh no, that's not what you want. It is a hula hoop to come out from Fly, but Snowflower is dead already, and it's five versus Life gonna come on over. They knew that, as the hook is going to land onto the Gargoyle, and he's just dead. Zenit explodes him. This is how much damage is in the game at this point in time. It was just picked up by Smab. That feels like KT's go button. They're looking for it, thanks observers for confirming. Life is not in range yet, and Peanut almost oh dies! Oh my god, BDD just does so much damage right now. Draw a bead has given Ruler so much extra range, as that's going to be the smite. The only one in the pit picks it up. Hero's entrance comes down, three GAs pop at exactly the same time, and now Life gets in, the Empress Divide is huge, but it only manages to pick up the job, and it's a double kill for Life, who finally lands an ult that you want, and Ruler gets it. There's a control ward that they prepared earlier. And Genji smashed the fight. They route them in the best in the 5v5 as we thought they would, Atlas. The way it starts was about as much of an advantage as KT was gonna find. In the end, though, it becomes about the car. I was gonna watch the replay to see how the flash was blown. Holy crap! Oh, wow. What? Why? Uh, I don't know, maybe it was the 700 IQ that we witnessed from Tarzan before, you know, use an ability to bait out more, something like, I'm not entirely well, sure the because they win the game. I don't know how that works, I don't know how you blow a flash trying to 1v1 a top laner as a Tristana, but this is what happens, see that 50 gold? That went over to Ruler. What an interesting match, honestly, I... Enough to deny, especially around the early skirmishes. Players play with so if you're a Lulu main, low. buy that skin, it seems good. Yep. Well, Peanut's gonna make his way back down again, and Zenit face checks him. 
I've seen this one before, guys, and that's first blood going over to Gen G, much like it didn't get to continue here in this game. Score looking for the dive, actually. This could be a problem. He doesn't have a huge Narbar, and that's just going to be the flash. Smith finishes it off, and Score happily tanks that one. The Gragas can stop the Grace side of that, but Peanut trying to come up with the mirror play down low. Yep, he's going to go straight in there as well as Zenit. They're looking for the knockup. He finds it as well as Ruler picked up Turret Aggro. That's a bad news story. A Snowflower comes in. Gen G use their teleport to get under here, and they do guarantee the kill, but Smeb too late on his tele teleport to follow up. Trying to get everything. A KT Rolster. Melee range ultimate from Zenit. Didn't want to get the flash for follow flash. Wanted to re-enter lane with flash, so just dies. And they go for the turret now. All right, life. I don't know what that one's about, but the flash from Snowflower is really going to help KT out here. That's the interrupt on the hero's entrance, but it is going to be Jace picking up the kill regardless. Minion wave. I mean, still it probably so wouldn't have been great. <laughs> yeah. Well, Zenit going to be engaged on once again. Snowflower doesn't find any taunt there as the Unbreakable's great at stopping the Winds of War. But Peanut now looking for a turnaround. Just dunks on top of Score. But I don't think he can actually get anything done as PDD's here. Score's going to go down. Ruler does grab that kill. And Cube has made it through here. The Meganar is available, but not the ultimate. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Wild Growth does come in there eventually for Fly. Hasn't used his Flash just yet. As Wins is going to be there. Oh, the Flash had to respect there. As now KT are looking for the Nara. And they'll find him. Hero's entrance come connect and then Genji are in a great spot because they can't answer him in a side lane as you can see right here illustrated pretty perfectly with Cubay just getting thrown straight into the death chamber well, do not pass go do not collect 200 2018 Smeb has finally reconnected to the server welcome back yeah oh, thank goodness oh, Snowcloud is going to die here in this replay sorry for the spoiler and they've got an Ardent Sensor as well. Hubei doesn't have much of a Narbar. Score going to come on over there looking to lock him down as Genji pull off the Baron. Oh, so unfortunate. And they just lose their Nar and are unable to get anything. Clen still on cooldown. Yeah, and Ruler is going to play frontline here as Redemption gives vision of this Baron Pit. Peanut should be able to get in there, but it's not going to be enough. Immediate flash out does come in and Genji can still save this if they can win this team fight, but KT's disengaged. He's still oh. having face goal. He's going to get a lot of AoE and the red sets have started. Fly gets pounced on and Rule is just getting ran around this fight. Peanut wants to find Snowflower. BDD, the sticks have launched themselves in there and now the bounce back on Cube. Ruler gets it. another one. Can he get it? As Score jumps on forward. The rend is going to be used without a reset and Ruler has to back away. Man, that was definitely... Unfortunately, all his allies fall around him, and he doesn't have a second frontliner to make the play happen, and now Smeb says, I'm gonna blow you up. Yep, and Ruler has absolutely no idea as the Empowered Shock Blast doesn't land. This might actually be a big deal moment, because remember, you need to lock him down, but there, the hammer falls, and that is... Anyway, yep, the Shock Blast were landing, though, in the mid lane. Wave is not quite knocking on the door just yet, though, as Ruler. Very aggressive move. They are just going to blow up the Brawn so well, but Peanut has dived in. He is in the right position. Sacrifice, but down to a GA, and Ruler is at full health. There's a lot of low health bars on KT's side, but the Jarvan just cannot withstand this. Ruler going to try and salvage this one as best he can, but I think even he knows this could be a really big problem. Score has to go into a stopwatch, and Fly is going to set up that kill, and now Gen holds that World Championship himself as that's the culling he's gonna come down onto life but fate's call is in there he's got oh, a decent oh. knock up here's the wombo combo ruler he's able to grab the first one bdd going down very low already the jace has done a bunch of work though and there's gas on the side of kt rolls so good knock up under snap but look at his health bar it is so incredibly large and yes so is rulers but he's just dying and look this is how the game has felt the entire time ruler against the world and honestly this KT Rolster squad has proved that the world is bigger. And that means it's all about the game three and this must win game to stay away from relegation. Africa are down there. Neither KT nor Gen G want to join in their plight and we'll need to know one more game's result before we see who picks up the series win. Exactly right. One Nexus turret, one Nexus, and KT bring us to a game number three and a game number six of the night. I'm surprised the both of us can still talk, Papa Smithy, but. Because even if he goes for a level 2 gank mid lane, gets a summoner out of Yasuo, that could be a good use of Sinsu. Trouble first. Uh oh. That's a big old face check. That's a Braum as well as life is going to have to flash, but also is in trouble. The Aftershock is going to go. Remember, you can't just as punch over a wall, and he's just going to take a short trip to the death chamber. Zenith.
delivered the kill. Silver Platter prepared. So we need to see Cube okay. right now, trying to find a way out of this. Yep, Score just going to make his way in. Thought it might have been a visual bug, but it's not. As now the cast comes in. Score fade away. Jump shot. Tanks. Talon games on Longja look great, and they just want to kill Cube again. Is this a replay? No, it's like. All yeah. right. Okay. Well, oh, he's he going to be able to do the same thing yet again. Oh, oh my God. So good. It literally is the same play. Required. He nailed it. And that means that Cube is going to take longer to get to that spot where he's been pushed. Bot lane, though. Yeah, life is going to get in there, but that's the denial. Fate's call comes down, we're looking for the re-engage. In goes Score once again, he's everywhere. On this map as Zenit gets booped back with the ultimate. Life should go down here, but Score is going to interrupt the Justice Punch. Snowflower gets on over and helps Smeb pick himself up a kill on the bottom side of the map. And they're not done yet. Peanut he gets exhausted and killed actually. Oh. In rotation, the barrel comes in, does a lot of damage to Peanut. Preseason yeah. actually fires, it's been few and far between. Speaking of few and far between. Yeah, Snowflower is going to find a whole host of people here. In the river, Ruler comes on over there as well, and he's got Buster Shot available. He's going to use it. Assume and vindicate in the first round, Zoe. Exactly, and I mean, he has shown some great performances, but only on Lissandra, really. His Lissandra has been actually very good. And we've seen... Oh, okay. Here's the last breath, and uh, Castle Curse is going to oh. come out, but he does get out. Oh, the end of the Steel Tempest, and is even able to land a follow-up. As score comes on in, Greedy. Hero's entrance comes down, BDD knocked up, he's tanking the turret in life. Self to level 17, draw a bead being pretty good and having six items. So if you can do that again, I have a feeling that they could be able to repeat it. Uh, Peanut, he just gets set up on there. It's the alley-oop from score and BDD. With Zoe and damn, now he's pushing in our stuff down bot lane. We have to choose one thing or the other. Speaking of choosing. Yeah, they're going to choose a dead Zoe. Just what kind of player this guy is. And on the pick, right? On the Gragas. Oh, I know. The Hillbilly as well. His spirit animal, Hillbilly Gragas. Very weird sentence to say, but it's League of Legends. We talk about killing all the time. <laughs> yep. Oh, Snowflower is going to dive on forward. They get some knockups, but not the ones the BDD wanted. And finally, a cast. Uh -oh. He's going to go wide. The Braum is going to go down. Peanut is going to go into stasis, but should eventually fall down. But it is going to be the Steel Tempest that gets it. BDD still very, very low. Ruler has got a whole bunch of kills so far. BDD, another it. auto attack. And that's going to be the GA. It's Smith. Flashes on top of him, the stopwatch. He puts him in the baby cage, but the flash is going to create the distance. The now from Juve is going to stop Smeb from getting any further forward. And Ruler is going to stay alive, but there it is. He holds on to it right till the end, but Fly is going to be the answer. And another cage. See you later, mate. Paddle, sorry. The portal jump, not going to be enough. And Smeb takes down the inhibitor in mid lane. And is he, he's just going to ignore the support in the jungler here as he wants the Dark Procession onto Peanut. He wants to take him down. The Morning Mist is going to land. Peanut should be falling down, and Smith going for the 1v2. Can he put life in the death chamber? You bet your ass you can. Double kill, and he'll take down. And now they've just got everything. They got the extra kills on the back. Oh, and kill Cube as, as well. Get him. You know what I said about Smith getting back-to-back -back MVPs? This might actually be the, oh wait. That rule is going to turn up, and oh, okay, can he actually do it? The answer, Julia, oh. Julia, oh. red buff. I know, so so maybe like you got to work it out. As Peanut, he's going to be fighting the Yorick, but Dark Procession is going to put him right into the cage once again. It's a great knockup to come in from Snowflower, who goes into stasis. B and E, not going to die just yet. As that's a cast from Score to end all casts, and will end the life of Fly as well. The exhaust comes in, so they manage to get the Yasuo. But it's a man advantage, and Zenit is still alive this time around. Peanut, one hit away from a stun, and then straight into the death chamber as well as now Cube fighting onto Smeb. Smeb's super low, but he just doesn't care. That's a kill that you deserve, Score. They will take down the Nexus, and KT Rolster will get the monkey off their back and take down Gen G in the second round, Robin. Such an important victory coming off their two weeks.